Sheba, thanks so much. You may be one of those people who, you know, load up on vitamin C during the winter. I know I'm definitely guilty of that and it can be helpful, but you need to be careful. Our Y guy explains. It might just be the celebrity of all vitamins. An adequate dose of vitamin C each day can help repair damaged cells, reduce inflammation, and even give you healthier skin. But it might not be the superhero you've been led to believe. There's no evidence that vitamin C will help prevent you from getting COVID-19. In fact, there's little evidence to support the long-held belief that it helps prevent the common cold. There's some people that strongly believe that if you take vitamin C on a regular basis, when you catch the common cold, it may make it less severe. There's no concrete data that vitamin C can help prevent a cold. In fact, you need to be careful when it comes to vitamin C. Let's look at why. One orange or a cup of broccoli a day will provide enough vitamin C for most people. Vitamin supplements are fine, but medical experts say taking more than 2,000 milligrams in a day is risky. When you get higher than that, again, it can affect medications. It can cause side effects like nausea, vomiting. Too much vitamin C can lead to fatigue, headaches, and in some cases, kidney stones. Your body doesn't produce or store vitamin C, so it's important to consume an adequate amount each day through your diet or supplements. There is currently a clinical trial to see if vitamin C is helpful for people hospitalized with COVID-19 who've developed pneumonia. The results won't be available for a while. Vitamin C will keep its celebrity status. Just remember, you can get too much of a good thing. <laughs> Jerry and his graphics, vitamin C, a celebrity with shades on it. But get your vitamin C, folks. Not too much, though.